Want some candy, little girl? So at the end of episode two, probably the biggest thing that happens is that the Darkness, who is now uh, a six-year-old girl, ends up in the clutches of Crowley, while Castiel has escaped the angels who had kidnapped him, and uh, the boys are back in the bunker. Help me. The boys' main focus this episode is how do we get Castiel better? Gas, you all right, pal? That's the spell. You know, Rowena's the only one who can remove it. We're doing everything we can to find her, okay? But so far, we got nothing. It's getting worse. Getting Castiel better means going to the source of the spell, which means re-enlisting, refinding, basically strong-arming our favorite witch, Rowena, into lifting the spell from Cass, which will be its own special kind of fun this episode. <sighs> uh, no, it won't. I don't even know why I said that. It won't be. It won't be. Not even remotely fun. But... Shall we have a wee sing song? No. I, th I think one of the really cool things of this episode is starting to watch Crowley in a role that we haven't seen him before, which is sort of a father figure to this young darkness in the hopes of essentially exploiting her powers for his own benefit. But as we'll see over a whole run of episodes, it's not exactly going the way that he expected. You're a very lucky girl. I'm a king. And if anyone can protect you from that rascally deity, it is I. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Crowley. 